August 19th, 2018. Well, I uh, just wanted to very briefly show some later season differences in the peppers that were started with full trace mineral nutrition and supported with calcium right from the start and the ones that were started under conventional agricultural and s systems with synthetic fertilizers and that sort of thing. So these are all uh, hot ch and of course I should mention they are two different varieties uh, so you can take that with a grain of salt or whatever but um, at the end of the day they're all the same family and have similar growing styles. Um, so anyway, these are cherry peppers. These are from a local greenhouse. They were started in synthetic ferts. I showed how the stem was not as strong right from the start. And uh, we had some wind after some rain yesterday. And I uh, just want to point out that a lot of these are like bending over, falling over, breaking. Um, and that goes for most of these. This one is a really good example of it where uh, well, actually, it's two of them, where they've basically completely fallen over uh, without any staking. And we do have some nice uh, red hot cherry peppers coming on um, and good growth and all. But uh, so everything up to here on this row was started in synthetic ferts without adequate calcium, without proper trace mineral nutrition and biology in and on that seed right from the start. And then, when you come up here, these are jalapeno peppers, and I don't know what's happening here. I may have overdosed it. There may be something weird in the soil here. This is the only one with this issue. But regardless, uh, when you get over here to the jalapenos, you can see that these are actually even taller and larger and more robust than the ones that were started in synthetic, in synthetic ferts, for starters. And also, uh, you'll notice with the exception of the one that was bumped over early in the season for me mulching and weeding around it that they're all standing upright and the wind didn't affect them. I really do need to get back in here and stake these before we have any heavy winds and before they start to really take on a heavy fruit load because we're still uh, just setting flowers and some of our first fruit. Let's see if we can... There we go. Give you a shot of a jalapeno developing on this one. Um, but I just want to do a, a later in the season update, and uh, I noticed, uh, you know, the, the stuff that was started in synthetic first is all falling over, and the stuff that wasn't is still standing upright. So I thought that was a good opportunity for people to see um, what those subtle differences are, and how much more they express themselves as you go on toward fruit and flower as the season carries on. I hope this helps someone. If you have any questions or comments, please do so down below. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button. And if you want to make sure you get our latest videos, of course, hit the notifications icon as well. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.